Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's see if we can apply the rules that we learned so far, primarily the product rules, but there's a few other rules we should also know. Let's say that we have three matrices, A, B, and C, and all three of them are three by three matrices. And the determinant of matrix A is five, the determinant of matrix B is two, and the determinant of matrix C is zero. Can we solve for these four items right here? First of all, the determinant of A cubed times B. Well, that really means the product of the determinant of A times the determinant of A times the determinant of A times, oop, times the determinant of B. And then since we know what they are, this is therefore 5 times 5 times 5 times 2, which is 125 times 2 or 250. Our next one, we have B transpose times C times B, and we're trying to take the determinant of that. Again, using the product rules, this is equal to the determinant of B transpose times the determinant of C times the determinant of B. Now, even if you didn't know what to do with this one, since the determinant of C is equal to zero, the whole thing will go to zero. But just so we can we remember the rules and, and practice the rules, it turns out that the determinant of the transpose of a matrix is equal to the determinant of the matrix. So therefore, this and this will have the same quantity. The determinant of B is 2, so this becomes 2 times 0 times 2, which is 0. Next one here, we have the determinant of the inverse of A times B times A. It turns out that is equal to the determinant of the matrix B alone. So we have the A inverse, B and then A, that will cancel out. This is like multiplying times the identity matrix, and so this is simply the determinant of B, which is equal to 2. And finally, this one. Hmm. We're multiplying times a constant, and then we have the inverse of A times B. This can be simplified as saying this is equal to 2 to the n power. Remember, in this case, it's a 3 by 3 matrix, so n will be a 3, times, that would be the determinant of A inverse, times the determinant of B inverse. And of course, the determinant of the inverse of the matrix is equal to 1 over the determinant of that matrix. So this can be written as 2 to the third power times 1 over the determinant of A times 1 over the determinant of B. And then this can be written as 8 times 1 over 5 times 1 over 2. And A divided by 2 is 4, so this becomes 4 over 5. And that's how we can use the rules, the product rules of determinants, and the rules, other rules such as A inverse and A, and B transpose, and when we multiply times a constant, on how to find the final determinant of a combination of matrices like that. And that's how it's done.